The teachers and students of a one-room schoolhouse in Scott County would have never dreamed what would become of their school 149 years in the future. Forest Grove has been rehabbed and restored as a popular tourism spot and has won awards from the State Historical Society of Iowa. Sharon Andresa, project coordinator at Forest Grove, is here today with all the updates of this great place that lots of people have visited so far, Sharon. We've had great attendance uh, on Saturdays. We're open from 9.30 to, to noon, and we have had really a wonderful turnout on the weekends there. I've talked to friends who've gone there, and they say it's such a neat experience. You get the little tour, you get the little video, right? The documentary you can watch. Yes, we have a 10-minute museum film there mm -hmm. uh, produced by Tammy and Kelly Rundle of Fourth Wall mm -hmm. Films. I know you're familiar with we them. We love them. They're so talented. We do, yeah. too. And, uh, yeah, it's a really great film uh, put together by them with interviews of students and teachers who actually were there at Forest Grove. Oh so goodness. they tell the story for us and it's a wonderful thing to hear. So the school opened in 18, what's the date again? 1873. 73. So let's take a look at this place. So this is, so you've you know, it went through a whole evolution, didn't it, over the years? How many years of uh, rehabilitation or rest restoration? You know, I say 10. From the time we first started to have a conversation with the family until the time that we did a ribbon cutting, it was it was close to 10 years. So, you know, eight, nine. Uh, but, you know, we're always adding new things uh, to the museum part. And, and, you know, this year we're gonna be seeing scaffolding go up soon mm -hmm. because it's time to give it a new coat of paint already. Is it really? Yes. Wow. Well, it's kind of out there, you know, it, it exposed to the elements, so that, right. could, that could happen, right? Right. So here's the thing. This place comes to life because you do reenactments, and you say that the kids have loved those. Yes. We started reenactments last fall. We have a retired school teacher from Bettendorf Schools who is our school marm, and she just knocks it out of the ballpark. Mm -hmm. She dresses the part. She has her hair up in a bun. Um, she's a wonderful, gentle soul who loves these kids and loves doing these reenactments. Oh, that is so sweet. How mm -hmm. often do you do those? Uh, by appointment. Okay. Um, so uh, we've opened that up to all the schools, including Good. home schools, um, private schools, and so if they just reach out to us either through our website, by phone, mm -hmm. by email, uh, we can get those set up and we're, we're currently scheduling those for fall. Oh, it, and I, I just think of, of today's students uh, attending a school like that, mm -hmm. how different the school experience was then. And um, I think there's something to be, there's definitely something to be learned from that era. There is, it's, it's exciting um, when we have groups of all one age for fourth graders, for instance. We divide them still into maybe two kindergartners, a first grader, two second graders, maybe there were no third graders, yeah. a fourth grade, all the way up to eight, so that they can understand that a teacher in a one-room school taught all eight grades, all subjects. And Unbelievable. It, it's a really great experience. I'll bet. Mm -hmm. So this is technically in, in Bettendorf, but it was part of the Pleasant Valley School District yes. at the time. Correct. There yes. were five uh, one-room schools that were uh, in Pleasant Valley Township, and of course Forest Grove is the only one that remains as a schoolhouse. Oh my. So the other thing, you do call it a museum. It's a museum. Yes. 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 Because it's been preserved and it's uh, it's a, a, an instrument of education and and do you think do you see it enduring for the ages now, Sharon? Oh, we pray that it will be. Yeah, oh my right? goodness, all this work for nothing would right. be awful. And so next year, our hundred and fiftieth anniversary, uh, and and you know we've set up an endowment for it at our local community foundation, and so we're hoping that people will jump on board with that as well, and and you know make some donations to that so. That that we have funds moving forward that will keep it restored for sure. another 150. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be something? Now, the award that you the, that you just got uh, from the Historical Society, the I, the state? Sure, uh, yeah, award? you know, you never start a project like this thinking about awards. You know, you're passionate, you get in, you do the work, uh, but it was very, very lovely to be recognized by the Iowa Preservation uh, Office in Des Moines, uh, by the state of Iowa, essentially, for the work that we did there. What a project, oh my, and then you have another new uh, documentary coming up for, for 2023. Correct, the Rundles um, have been taking film footage of our project since the very beginning, 
and they've compiled that into a 60-minute documentary called Resurrecting Forest Grove. And uh, they plan to premiere that in the fall of 2023 in honor of our sesquicentennial. Oh, my. I know you're so proud of it, Sharon. This Very has been much. your baby. Yes. It really has, hasn't it? So there's all the info, folks. And you're thinking, wow, you know, I need to get there this summer. Your, um, your, the tours or that the special opening times are Saturdays only now? Yes, just yesterday at a board meeting, we assessed um, the attendance and the availability of volunteers to staff it on Thursdays. And it's it's just not working particularly well right now. So we did uh, go back to just Saturday mornings, mm -hmm. 9.30 to noon, and we've had wonderful turnouts. Do you, can you just show up? You can just okay. show up. 9.30 to noon on Saturdays there at that address. Uh, if you go look at uh, forestgrove.org, right? School. School, mm -hmm. forestgroveschool.org you'll find all that info but you need to take the kids or, or I, I have a lot of friends who are teachers and they've gone and they're just fascinated by it it's, it's a beautiful work that you've done there thank you Sharon so so thanks for everything you've done and uh, and support the place too you'll find out yeah. how when you check out the website yeah thank thanks you. Sharon happy summer thank you happy summer yes. to you thank you dear